Hello everyone, it's Eric here, and today I'm going to be talking about the new reveals from Warhammer Fest. I would have made this yesterday, and I did make this yesterday, or I recorded this, but something went wrong with the audio, so I have to do it again, so that's great, but hopefully I'll do it better this time. So, alright, so reveal today were some new things for 40k, uh, Kill Team, uh, Age of Sigmar, and in my opinion most importantly, the Old World, so... First off, they uh, finally officially unveiled the new Baron on Pegasus with alternate builds, and I think this looks fantastic. It It's like the best of the old and the best of the new kind of modern, uh, better detailing and more nuanced details. Yeah, it looks really good. And then we have some alternate color schemes. I, I think I like this one better. Yeah, it's really nice. has a contrasting kind of dark feathers with the lighter heraldry and then we can see it can be built optionally with a battle standard bear which is really cool because I know most armies I feel like a lot of armies uh, you know it wasn't easy to get a battle standard bear you'd have to buy like a if you even had a, a BSB for your army you had to buy like a pewter miniature and they were usually very you know, fiddly to work with and pewter banners are often kind of hard because banner was fully pewter then just like the pole might bend and your banner might break so it's, it was annoying but now that it's plastic I think that's a lot better for everybody here's another shot looks great all right then we have Knights of the Realm on foot and I think this is probably my favorite uh, reveal of the day yeah I really like these I think they do a, a good job of uh, kind of capturing the essence. They, they look a bit different than the kind of the knights on a horse. I think they're starting to show their age a little bit. They do look a bit simpler. They're not as detailed. Uh, the proportions aren't quite as realistic, I'd say, but they still hold up generally well. Whereas these guys just have all sorts of details uh, popping off all over the place. Like chains and, and just more kind of trim and elaborate ornamentation. I think they look really good. And they did that thing where you can see kind of the bridge of the nose and the eyes in the, the slits of their helmets, like they did with the new Chaos Warriors, which I think is fine. I, mean, I think optionally you can always just paint it black. I mean, honestly, I'm just happy to see something on a square base, but yeah, these look really great. I know some people are complaining about some of the helmets, but I think there's gonna be enough variety that you'll probably find something you like. I know they're a little different. They are more, quite a bit more detailed and just nuanced than the older helmets you can see they look just pretty simple it's like a can with some slits in it whereas the new helmets they just have more curves and bolts and kind of visors that kind of open up open up you can see the face so yeah you can see you just tell you know their ability to sculpt intricate details has it's gotten a lot better over the past like decade and they can have an optional build of uh, great weapons or sword and shield which is really nice to see i bet this sprue is going to be packed because there's just so much stuff on there here's just a call out of i think the champion and the ba uh, banner bear look at all those locks why does he need that many locks i don't know there's probably a story behind it and here we can see the pegasus knights you can see they're on a different base because before they were on a i believe it was like a, a 40 millimeter base but now it looks like it's a 40 by 60 or something to that effect i don't know what it's on could be wrong well i think these do better capture the the, the profile the shape profile of the miniature i i don't see how they would be able to rank up because of the wings but we'll see maybe they can skirmish i don't know here we have the old knights of the realm and the knights errant kit i think these look uh these look good classic as always they've i think they've aged generally well uh, they look kind of a bit simpler compared to the newer knights on foot uh, personally i'm just really not a big fan of them all having the same heraldry i really like the nascar look of each knight being unique with uh, different really bright vibrant uh, primary colors like red yellow blue white and black and then just d infinite different combinations and patterns of of that for each knight. i think that was really cool but yeah i can understand why they might encourage this style of painting because it's far less intimidating i guess have to paint every night differently but i i think that's what i would do here we have the men at arms always a classic and yeah, we can see them on their bigger bases i feel like uh it kind of shows that maybe they weren't designed for this uh, size of base so there's some extra space but i think that looks fine it's just so good to be to know that we're going to be able to paint these older kits and just just classic fantasy just classic guys with spears and swords and shields and yeah it's just 
It's been so long. It's just really hitting my nostalgia buttons. Here we have the archers. They look great as always. I don't know if I like these archers or the, the archers that came before these. They looked a little simpler, but these look good too. They, they're, bit, they're a lot more gritty and kind of grisly and kind of more uh, realistic, I guess you could say. have more gritty textures and details, but yeah, it's all good. I feel like I'm going to have to get used to them on the bigger base. There's just uh, a lot of space in between the different ranks, but I'm sure it'll work out. It says here that this box contains 32 archers, and I think that's interesting because I think to me it signifies that they're, they're going to be selling regiments and units in, in whole boxes. They're no longer going to just sell like 10 guys in a box. It's probably going to be like a full regiment or, or nothing at all because I feel like they think this is going to be more of a niche uh, game, and they want people that are interested to, to buy whole boxes as opposed to like just 10 guys individually. So... I think that's what they're gonna go for. I think that's what they're doing for Horse Heresy, so I think it's gonna be the same here. Here we have a new, uh, looks like a wizard, Handmaiden of the Lady. Yeah, this looks really good. It's, I think you can tell it's Forge World, just a lot of very nuanced details. I really like the, it's kind of the subtle posturing with the hand. It's a lot of, uh, there's a nice gesture, very elegant curve, and just a sloping cape, a nice kind of plant details. It's really nice. And I think uh, with the bigger base sizes, we're going to see more dynamic and creative poses and miniatures that you can see because it's not as packed in as it was before. And of course, we have all the the older reveals, which they all look really good. And they're bringing back the the uh, the trebuchet, which is really nice. It's going to be forge roll resin, but I guess you know some people would say that's better than metal. I don't know. I haven't worked with forge roll resin, but you know, it is what it is. I think my favorite part is it comes with this little kid on a little wheelbarrow and he's got a slingshot. I'd always like to pretend that he was the, the one actually slinging the, the rock and this was just like a decoy. This is the real trebuchet, the little kid with the slingshot. But that's just my opinion. All right, this was really nice and it's really great to see some actual tangible you know, information about the old world. And they did talk about how it's going to be it's set for release in early 2024, probably uh, first quarter. And that's really exciting. And I know I'm looking forward to it. It's a shame that they couldn't do it for the holidays. And the only thing I'm really upset about is that they just don't sell any square bases right now. If you want to start, you know, building old world miniatures, you, know, you don't have, GW isn't selling their older square bases so they don't know and they're not revealing what size bases uh different units are going to be on so i think that's annoying because i like to build you know my miniatures on the right bases from the get-go i don't want to have to paint the base and the miniature separately and then have to combine it later just because i think that's it's just more efficient to do it all at once but it is what it is and i know i'm really excited it's these are really great and now this feels like a real thing that's happening now not just kind of a few little trickles of information every like five months or so so yeah it's really exciting times also they they revealed some new <laughs> striking scorpions if you look if you watch my previous video my prediction video i said i think they're going to make some new striking scorpions and i was right so I don't, I don't know maybe i heard a rumor from someone else and that's why i i said that but yeah, these are really nice to see and these are really great poses really uh, dynamic yeah really intricate and finely detail that's really nice to see although my, i think my only issue with these guys is just that all their legs are kind of in a similar very uh wide pose it would be nice to see one of the, one or two of these guys just like running or walking in like a different pose but i don't know it's kind of a nitpick but, but yeah um let me know what you guys think in the comments below are you excited for these uh, upcoming releases or do you think this is disappointing somehow? Let me know in the comments below. If you like my content, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.